வணக்கம் ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் பீன் சீங் அபவுட் தி ஏர்லி பாண்டியாஸ் ஆஃப் ஹவு தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கிங் ஹூ ஆக்யூப்பைட் த சீட் ஆஃப் கூடல் வாஸ் நெடுந்தேர் செழியன் ஃபாலோட் பை ஒல்லையூர் தந்த பூத பாண்டியன் ஹூ டைட் இன் பேட்டில் ட்ரைங் டு ப்ரொடெக்ட் கூடல் நெக்ஸ்ட் இன் லைன் கம்ஸ் அ ரூலர் ஹூம் அக்கார்டிங் டு கே என் சிவராஜா பிள்ளை தி நோட்டட் ஹிஸ்டோரியன் is the most important of the early pandya rulers and his importance is revealed by the several names that were bestowed on him as honorific titles pasumbon pandian alias pannadu thanda pandian alias nilam tharu thiruvil pandian alias vadimbalamba nindra pandian alias nedunjeliyan the second kenas opines that this ruler did not get his due in terms of fame for posterity in history the reason being that his exploits went under different names and were adduced to different pandya rulers over different time periods by the Tamil scholars and historians who did not do enough research in collating the references mentioned in different Sangam poems regarding this king. Actually, all the names that we find are epithets, meaning that they do not reveal the proper noun of the king as was the poetic convention in those days. And Canis shows that by correlating the references of contemporary poets found in the Sangam works, one is able to deduce that all these different names point to the single ruler whom he identifies as Nedinjarian II, while Pasumpun Pandian is just a generic name, where Pasumpun means ornaments made out of pure gold, so the king who wore these ornaments this pandya king annexed several territories and expanded the early pandya kingdom because of which he was given the title pannadu thanda pandian the most significant among his victories were the conquering of the ai kingdom to the west of kodal and occupying the konga territories which were to the north of kodal immediately after his succession to the throne Nedunjeriyan the 2nd turned his attention towards the north of Kodal that was then occupied by AV the 2nd remember in a previous episode we saw how Ahude the original chieftain who ruled over Kodal went to battle with AV the 1st and won over him this AV the 1st was probably the grandfather of AV the 2nd who faced Nedunjeriyan the 2nd points out Kenas and obviously ahude had not annexed evi's territory to kudal then the lines of paranar in an ahana nooru poem point out very clearly of how pasumbun pandian waged a battle with evi the second defeating him and annexing his territory to kudal next nedunjeriyan the second set his sights on the ai kingdom that lay to the west of the pandya territories and a passing reference in another aham poem by paranar shows how pasumbun pandian marched with his retinue of army into the ai territories of the podiyal hills ahana nooru poem 162 under the kurunjithine the verses go nasai pilaippu ariya kadal todi adigan kol aravu ariya payangelu palavin veengai serndha verpagam poliya vil kelu thane pasumbun pandian களிறு அணி வெல் கொடி கடுப்ப கான்வர ஒளிருவனை இழிதரும் உயர்ந்து தோன்றும் அருவி தி விக்டோரியஸ் ஃபிளாக்ஸ் அடாப் த டால் எலிஃபென்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கிங் பசும்பூன் பாண்டியன் லுக் லைக் தி வாட்டர் ஃபால்ஸ் கமிங் டவுன் த மவுண்டன்ஸ் இன் காஸ்கேட்ஸ் ஆஸ் த கிங் மார்ச்சஸ் வித் ஹிஸ் ஆர்மி வித் சோல்ஜர்ஸ் கேரிங் ஸ்பியர்ஸ் into the podiyal regions the regions abundant with jackfruit trees and vengai trees that belonged to ai adihan the one who wore warrior anklets and gave generously to the bards who sang his praise with honest words while this is just a passing reference in the ahana nooru poem 338 the poet madurai kanakayanar clearly establishes pasumbon as the ruler of the podil hills kunru ongu vaipin naadu meekurum maram kelidane arasarullum அறம் கரை பிடித்த செங்கோலுடன் அமர்மரம் சாய்த்து எழுந்த வலன் உயர்த்தினிதோல் பலர் புகழ் திருவின் பசும்பூட் பாண்டியன் 
அனங்குடை உயர்நிலை பொறுப்பின் கவா அன் தி பியூட்டிஃபுல் பொதியல் ஹில்ஸ் வேர் இன் லிவ்ட் தி அனங்கு த ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஸ்பிரிட்ஸ் பிலாங்கிங் டு தி ஸ்ட்ராங் ஷோல்டர்ட் பசும்பூன் பாண்டியன் ஹூ ரோஸ் அப் வித் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் அண்ட் ரூ இன் ஹிஸ் எனிமீஸ் and rules with a just scepter the one praised by many as the greatest among brave kings who ruled over tall mountainous regions immediately after this conquest pasumbun pandian seems to have renamed a territory in the i kingdom after him a beautiful town in the foothills of the western ghats in the towarle taluk of kanyakumari district was renamed as Arahiya Pandiyapuram and Kenas points out how in some of the oldest records the name reads Adiyanur Yendra Arahiya Pandiyapuram Kenas claims that this town was renamed to celebrate the victory of Pasumbun Pandian not only that he goes on and i quote what strikes me as peculiarly significant is the existence of another town with a rock cut temple just 3 to 4 miles to the south Buda Pandi by name the headquarters of the taluk now probably after this conquest pasumbun pandian renamed this city in honor of buda pandian and from this kenas deduces that this buda pandian should have been the father of pasumbun pandian and what struck me was that while going through the present day map of kanyakumari district well of course the towarle taluk is there so are the towns of buda pandi and arahiya pandiyapuram by a vigorous policy of expansion pasumbun pandian was able to extend his kingdom with this victory over the i regions up to the brim of the arabian sea and hence he was given the honorific title vadimbu alambu nindra pandian which literally means the pandian whose lands are washed by the waves of the two seas on both sides and to celebrate this great good fortune he seems to have conducted a sea festival mentioned in a poem sung by the poetess nettimayar who comes at a later period and this poem is actually in praise of one of the successors of this king பல்சாலை முதுகுடுமி பெருவழுதி வேர் த லைன் கோஸ் செந்நீர் பசும்பொன் வைரியர்க்கு ஈத்த முன்னீர் விழவின் நெடியோன் தோ சம் ஆஃப் த கமெண்டேட்டர்ஸ் ஹூ கேம் லேட்டர் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் த டேர்ம் பசும்பொன் வைரியர்க்கு ஈந்தோன் ஆஸ் ஜென்ரலி அ ரூலர் கிஃப்டிங் த பார்ட்ஸ் வித் கோல்டு ஆர்னமெண்ட்ஸ் ஹியர் பை மீன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டேர்ம் நெடியோன் விச் கம்ஸ் இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் சென்டென்ஸ் கேஎன்எஸ் டெடியூசஸ் தட் இட் ஷுட் ரெஃபர் டு ஒன் ஆஃப் தி ஆன்சிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி hero in whose praise this poem was sung namely palsale mudugudimi peruvaldi and hence claims that this ancestor should be pasumbun pandian another point of contention is the purananuru poem 76 sung by idaikunrur kilar that goes oruvane oruvan adudalum tholaidalum puduvadu anru ivulagathu yerkai we have witnessed a king facing another in battle and defeating him but never have we seen one king facing a coalition of seven kings and defeating them as did the great pasumbun cheriyan nadugelu thiruvin pasumbun cheriyan peedum semmalum mariyar koodi porudum endru tantalai vanda punai kalal eluvar nalvalam adanga orudan aagi porudugalathu adale cheriyan being the common name by which pandian kings were known This poem mentions Pasumbun Pandian as Pasumbun Cheriyan contains KNS whereas the great Tamil scholars like Uve Saminada Iyer and Avai Durasami Pillai who gave commentaries on this Puram poem correlated this with another Agananuru poem which was sung indeed in praise of Talayalanganathu Cheruvendra Nedunjeliyan showing how he defeated a coalition of seven kings and claimed that this poem too was sung in praise of the same king however kenas tends to differ and mentions maybe history repeats itself and concludes that this purananuru poem 76 was sung in praise of pasumbun pandian and the agananuru poem sings of talayalanganathu cheruvendra nedunjeliyan who is identified as nedunjeliyan the third in kenas's genealogy table Now historians like K A Nilagandha Sastri and P T Srinivasa Iyengar 
do not mention Pasumbun Pandian at all. While the historian Maile Sini Vengadasami mentions that Pasumbun Pandian and Talayalangan Thisiruvendra Nedinjarian are one and the same. In fact, Vadimbalambanindra Pandian is mentioned as a mythical king by Nilaganda Sastri from the Thiruvalayadal Puranam which was a mythical epic written by Paranjodi Munivar in the 16th century taking place in Madurai and describing the Leelas of Lord Shiva. In his book, The Pandyas from the early times to the 16th century, Nilakanda Sastri does not deal in detail with the early Pandyas. He refers to a few contemporary historians like Divan Bahadur, Swami Kannapillai and quotes Vincent Smith who was the first person to have written a history of India, wherein Smith commented on the early Pandyas thus, The clumsy names and titles of these numerous kings cannot be brought into any meaningful chronology. Though Shastri gives the Sangam works only a cursory glance, he does enlist a series of poems sung in praise of Pandya kings, as well as a few poems that were sung by the Pandya kings themselves. One such famous poem being Purana Nuru poem 182 by Kadalul Ma in the Iram Peruvaridi that starts Unda Lammai Vulaham Indirar Amildam Yevadu Ayinum. This world exists because of men, even if they were to get the nectar of Indran, that is Amildam, will not drink it alone, men with no hatred, without laziness, they will give up their lives for fame, but will not accept fame if it comes with dishonour, even if they were to gain the world. Men with noble virtues, who exert their power not for themselves but for others. Now this Perivaridi does not find a place in the genealogy tables of KNS and there are two more poems in Nattine and one in Paribadal which itself is a later work, all written by a Perivaridi. Now, this Piruvaridi could not have been the same as the author of this poem, that is Kadalul Mainda Iram Piruvaridi, where the event that brought him the prefix Kadalul Mainda Iram, meaning one who died at sea, itself has no historical correlation. It is claimed that he lost his life trying to save others during a tsunami. Another Puram poem, for instance, by Pereil Muruvalar, sings the praise of one Nambi Nedinjarian. And there is another beautiful Purananuru poem sung by Pisarandayar in praise of a Pandian Arivudai Nambi. Avaidurai Sami Pillai points out to the practice of the Great Three, who rewarded chieftains who fought by their sides and won victories for them, with honorific titles that included the family name. So, according to him, Nambi should have been a chieftain who presided over a territory within the Pandya domain and was awarded the title Nedinjarian by King Nedinjarian himself. Similarly, Nilaganda Sastri also points out the ambiguities in the copper plates of the medieval Pandya period, such as the Chinnamanur plates and the Vervikudi plates that assign honorific titles to the early Pandyas but include mythical accounts to explain them. He concludes that the Sangam works had to be re-evaluated from a historical point of view and there was scope for a good monograph on the subject. Now, this is exactly what Canis did when he brought out the chronology of the early Tamils in the year 1932 following K.A. Nilaganda Shastri's The Pandyas, which was published in 1929. After the defeat of the I Kingdom, I Adigan becomes a subordinate chieftain of the Pandya king and he had to take command of the Pandya forces in leading them to battle against the Konga country. Earlier, the very I Kingdom that extended up to the southern borders of Coimbatore district prevented access into the Kongu country, effectively blocked the way of the Kudal king from entering into Kongu territory. But no sooner was Podiil captured and the way cleared, Nedinjarian II marched into the heart of Kongu country. In a Kurundohai poem 393, Parnar sings, Mayangamalar kode kuraya mahirnan, muyangiye naal davasilave alare, huhe koli vahe parandale, Pasumboon Pandian Vinayval Adihan Kalitodu Pattan Yandrai Oliruval Kongar Arpinum Peride. 
Well, again, this is an Agam song and the setting is what a heroine's friend said to her as the hero listened from nearby. It was just for a few days that your lover embraced you, but gossip has risen. And this gossip is louder than the roars of the Konga people with bright swords when Adikan, the able general of the Pandya king, fell along with his elephant in the field at Vahe. I, Adihan, died in this Kongu war fighting for Pandya Nedinjarian II, who eventually conquered Kongu country and annexed it to the Pandya kingdom. This is evidenced by the lines of Nakirar, Vada Puvir Kongaroti Nadupalatanda Pasumbun Pandian in the Agana Nuru poem 253. So, by his vigorous policy of expansion, this Pasumbun Pandian laid the foundation for the early Pandya kingdom and hence was bestowed with the title Nilam Taru Tiruvil Pandian, which, according to Kainas, is just a different phraseology of the title that he already held. Pannadu Tanda Pandian. The period of this ruler is given by KNS as between 50 common era and 75 common era. Now we will continue to explore the early triumvirates in the coming episodes. Vanakkam.